It is nearly time again for September Mascot Madness, the second one that I have done over on twitch.tv slash Rex. It tips off on August 29th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. If you would like to participate in this year's tournament, you can head on over to challenge.com slash. It's a nice, easy uh, URL this time. It's just SMM2020. You can see it right there. And you can fill out a bracket. But to get you excited for this next tournament, I have picked the five best games from March Mascot Madness number two. And here we find finally have it the number one best matchup of March mascot madness number two and it is a barn burner of a matchup between Boston College and Ohio from the first round so we have Ohio I actually believe the Ohio is the home team and we have Boston College I believe though I will double check that just to make sure I don't know why. I'm just not trusting my eyes. I played one wrong game and I'm like freaked out about it. Okay, Boston College at Ohio. Game number seven of tonight. We're going to Athens, Ohio. We're on All-American. We're playing 10 minute halves. You know the drill. Welcome to game number seven. This has been probably one of the best parts of this tournament that I've ever done. These games have been tremendous today. Boston College wins the tip. Let's see. Oh, I guess the Mississippi State game got out of, not like out of hand, but it was pretty well in control. Already an opportunity for an and one. I'm sorry, three point play. Sponsor this stream basketball company. Kentucky Auburn but I mean Florida NC State Wisconsin Penn State Alabama Utah State East Tennessee State Northwestern those are four games that have been incredible oh man turned over backcourt violation see a lot of those Ohio gotta clean it up a little bit here Ohio a favorite because uh, they don't look anything like the thing that is on their shirt I don't don't know why it's a very clear depiction of what a bobcat looks like and then there's the mascot currently trail three to two early game number seven thanks everybody so much for watching hopefully you're enjoying it I have a great time doing these a lot of fun big three from Boston College no go So three to two, Ohio with an opportunity to take the lead here. <coughs> Instead, they turn the ball over and they'll just intentionally foul there. Push him to the floor. They'll have some words. <laughs> just uh he was uh he was losing a two on one scenario. He figured I'll take a personal foul, no big deal. Another defensive foul. That's three team fouls already. Number five has two. I'd imagine he gets subbed out here. It's very early in this game. There's no reason for him to have that many fouls. Yep, there he goes. Boston College working with a full court press. Ohio down three. They're going to turn the ball over yet again, but it's a backcourt violation. So... That's happened twice for Boston College now. Got a guy open, wide open in the corner. Wide open in the corner. And now he's working his way under the basket. Now he's wide open in the other corner. Instead, this guy's going to hang out and to to a toy around with five-second violations. <coughs> Finally gets rid of the ball. Under 10 seconds to go here on the shot clock. We're gonna have to get going here real quick. It's a deep three. It's no good. Short. Pass is um, picked off by Ohio. You got a guy coming up on the left side. Said he'll take it himself. Nice lay in there for a five to four lead. Might, I might need a little hit of his caffeine. A little caffeine. It's late. Late on a work night. I knew when I went to bed last night at like midnight, I was like, oh, this is not going to go well. 
Because someone, someone had to edit a whole video yesterday. <laughs> But I think I scheduled. I think I scheduled it to go live at the wrong time, which was weird because I looked at it this morning and I was like, "This shouldn't be. Shouldn't have been live for two hours and some odd minutes." By the time I looked at it, it should have only been live for twenty-two minutes, but it was live for two hours and twenty-two minutes. Not that big of a deal. But I don't know who's checking their phone at four a.m. on the West Coast. I actually don't know what the best times are to post videos. So I just put them up early. Because that's... Who do it for me, you know? I would want videos early in the morning. Because that's when I'm up. And that would be the best chance for me to see them is if they go up early. 9 to 6 here. We got a 6-9 game. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Ohio State down. Another game that has a little bit of a slow start. Defensive foul. Shot is short, so it'll be just be two from the line. Boston College has played some good defense. They've had some turnovers that they've immediately given back because they're taking it away right at half court and they're getting uh, backcourt violations. So that's unfortunate for them, but it's beneficial to Ohio because the, the thing that can happen with the full court press is that it can kind of get out of hand quickly. Um, I'm trying to think. It may have been Ohio themselves. I think it was a it was a Michigan. I think it was a Michigan State game. A jam home thirteen to nine. Where's Michigan State. It was a Michigan State game that got out of hand just insanely fast because of full court defense. I don't remember exactly where it was, but pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was in the first March Mascot Madness tournament. All right, here we go. Focusing in on the game. Boston College at the line, shooting two, makes the first, 14 to nine. Second shot is good, 15 to nine. Five thirty left, first half. Another turnover for the Ohio Bobcats. We're already down six, five and a half to go. Just don't really have much of an answer. There's a, that's a good answer for the Boston College defense. Nice little spin move there. Passes it out to a guy in double coverage <clears throat> by a guy being guarded by two defenders. And it is 17-9. to 9. Ohio, I need you to make this interesting. We're on a great streak here. Four incredible games in a row. We can't have a dud coming down the stretch. I'll just have to put in the YouTube uh, description. All the good stuff's in the middle. Skip the first two games, last two games, don't worry about them. Most four, though. Cream of the crop. That's how people make movies. They're like, first act and third act, they suck. But all the good stuff's right in the middle. Nice shot up for uh, Ohio. Boston College is so willing to throw it so far down court. And typically that doesn't work very well. There's a lot of intercepted passes. Boston College is so confident. They're like, we don't even need our full court defense anymore. Three for Ohio. Short. But, uh, but Boston College is making it work. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Pardon. Boston College slamming it down again. 21-11. So we have a 10-point game here in the first half. I just... You know, I, I doubted Northwestern's ability to come back in the last game, and I... I mean, they almost made me look real stupid. They just made me look kind of stupid. But uh, I don't know if I don't know if Ohio has the firepower to make a ten-point comeback. That was a weird pass in the corner, under ten to go. Shot is off the rim, no good. Oh, second shot is off the rim, no good. Third shot is blocked, and finally, Boston College comes away with the basketball. 
This is uh, the third of three in a row that it would be considered the fan favorite trilogy here on day number three. Not intentional, just kind of a happy coincidence. 21 to 11. Austin College fouled. That is the fifth team foul for Ohio. Front end of the free throws is new. Good. Twenty-two to eleven. So we have an eleven-point game. Boston College back in their full-court press defense. Ohio breaks through. Oh, they stole it away. That was a weird. It was a weird place to throw the ball. There was a wide-open guy to his left. Instead, it gives the Eagles an extra. Possession. Ohio will take a timeout. This is usually when you see those those early timeouts used. 235 in the first half. It's already a 13-point game. Um, they're beating you by more points than you have scored. That's not good. There they go. Hit a little mid-range jumper there. Now they're up 11. Just kind of chip away here. Got to get some turnovers. Three-pointer no good, but the tip-in's no good, but the tip-in is good. Ohio and Northwestern are playing kind of similar styles of game where they're just, even when Boston College is missing shots, Ohio's not getting defensive rebounds. That was a little bit of a rough, well, <clears throat> a little bit of a rough, I forget where I was going. I got distracted. Oh, my God. That is the sixth team foul on Ohio. We might have our first genuine blowout of the tournament. It is 15-point margin. Now a 16-point margin for Boston College. And Ohio might be a uh, one and done here. Granted, very early in this, in this game. But I haven't seen a ton to reassure me that they'll be able to be able to make any kind of comeback <clears throat> missing two free throws certainly does not help the case a turnover does help the case just a little bit shot is up and good so 29 to 15 Now a 14-point deficit with 111 remaining. That's too easy. Too easy. He tried to get his hand in the passing lane. Just missed. And we're under a minute to go with a 16-point game. Thankfully, these have been very rare. I think this is the, this is the first like out-and-out -out blowout, like early blowout. The Duke-Syracuse game did get out of hand, but that was a little bit later in the game. 31 to 18. I mean, it does make them for a more exciting second half if Ohio is able to come back because then you'll get to watch this back when I put it in like the five best games of this tournament and then be like, well, look at this idiot. He doesn't know what's happening. Of course, if they get blown out by 30, then whatever. This is just some game buried within 64 other or 63 other games. That whatever. It is an 11 point game. Boston College kind of. Ohio, I think, needs to get out of their full court defense because Boston College is surprisingly willing. There's a three. There we go. Right at the buzzer. Boston College is really willing to throw it way down court. So a 10-point game here at half. 33-23. Ohio throwing it back across the court. Pump fakes. Passes. Passes back. Looking for some room on the inside. It's going to be a foul. It dropped off the front iron. No good. But two shots from the line. Could make up for the missed shot. Eight-point game. 9.47 second half. Boston College down as many as 16. Not exactly sure what's going on with 
No. Oh, Ohio was down as many as 16. I knew I, I had thought I said that wrong. Boston College going a little cold. I talk about it a lot when games like this happen. Is a team like Boston College going cold while Ohio gets a little bit of momentum? And all of a sudden, the Eagles leave the door open and the Bobcats reap the benefits. As in, they make it a competitive game. The, tri the trick with the Bobcats is they have to stay hot. They can't get hot to catch up and then go cold because, you know, was a 16-point lead all the way down to 6 now. Could balloon to 10, 12 very, very quickly. Man, Boston College and Duke should play each other. It'll be a dunk off. You could solve it with a dunk off. Okay, loud truck, sir. GTFO. Back outside. Eight point game. That's a three. No good. Defensive rebound. Eagles. Mainly because I'm tired of saying BC. There it is. Ten point lead. So they got it down to six. Is that their one good run? I kind of hope not. Because it was a little tease, you know. There's a three. Bounces around. Offensive rebound. Gets it to drop. Back down to eight. They're so willing to throw it down the court. That's the first time they've had any sort of miss like that. Usually it's pretty clean. Another offensive rebound for the Bobcats. Got tipped a little bit, it looked like, by the defender. Affected the shot. Just barely hit the rim and then went back to the Eagles. Quick pass inside. He's able to get it up over the defender and it's back to a 10 point lead. 39 29. Up and in. There we go. There's a there's a three-point play. <clears throat> 39 32. So down to a seven point lead. <coughs> nice turnover there. There you go. That'll definitely help. See what Ohio can do here. They get a three, they can close it down to four. I doubt they'll be able to do that, but see what happens. Working it around. Well, mid-range jumper just doesn't quite get where it needs to go. <laughs> and Boston College very quickly runs the floor. They do, unfortunately for them, miss the shot. Uh, kind of surprising. They've been really good about throwing the ball up the court and very quickly making a dunk or making a layup and just kind of calling it good. They're letting the Bobcats hang around. They're not, I mean, they haven't relinquished the lead or anything, but it's close enough, you know. One good Bobcat run, you know. One good run. Ohio, do you have it in you? And you get one good run to close it down, make it an exciting finish. Just passing back and forth here. Working around the three-point line. We are under 10 seconds on the shot clock to go. You'll we'll probably just have to end up shooting a random three. He's got it. That is surprisingly effective. But obviously you can't rely on it, and there's no reason that you should, uh, you know, do that. Six points. This is as close as it's been. Balloon to 16. There's a turnover. Ohio making opportunities for themselves, giving themselves a chance. 
Nice defense by the Eagles. It's going to drop. That's going to be a three-point opportunity here for the Bobcats. I tell you, this first round has offered five best-of-worthy games already. Could we be looking at a sixth? Come on, Ohio. We have some Ohio che cheering in the chat. We have another opportunity for a nice layup. Boston College is just letting them hang around. Ohio giving themselves opportunities. First free throw is good. What was a 16-point lead is all the way down to two. Under five to go. That free throw is missed. Obviously not ideal. Two-point lead, or two-point deficit, I should say. Not terrible. Work withable. Work withable. That's the first time we've seen that in a while from the Eagles of Boston College. That was their bread and butter there for a while. They were just, they were duking it, you know, just jam, jam, jam. There you go. Nice little running floater for the Bobcats. 43-41. They'll work with a little bit of a full court situation. Force it into the three defenders. Still got the shot up to go through. That wasn't a great... That was a, still got the shot up and through. Just defenders couldn't, couldn't get it. Under four. Four-point lead. Okay. Under ten seconds. Shot clock seven. Last time they did this, they got a three. Do they have it in them again? No. They do have an offensive rebound and a nice layup to keep it close. 45-43. See if Boston College... Okay. I was going to say we'll see if they go deep. It's something that they've really worked with. When, and it's worked well. It's not just that they've tried. It's that they've been successful with it. Ohio with a nice steal there. They have an opportunity to tie this game up. 45-43. They threw it away. I said tie it up, not turn it over. I know those things get a little a little confused sometimes, but... Oh, couldn't get it. Nice rebound defensively by Ohio. We'll have to pull back and wait for all the players to get set and just kind of run their half-court offense. Two quick passes off the side of the rim. No good. Just a very... Complicated, like just flip up shot, like hopeless goes in or anywhere near. Boston College gets a friendly, friendly bounce, knocks it through. So, still a four point game. We've seen this from teams as well teams that get a ballooned lead all the way down and they just can't quite get past a certain point. It's usually like six to four. And for Ohio, it has been two. They just can't get that tying basket. They have 2.22 to do so. A second free throw that is no good, so now they need a three to tie. Plenty of time, though, so they don't have to rush that. I don't think they've taken very many threes. We went from, like, a couple of teams that were very three-happy with uh, NC State and Florida to teams that weren't necessarily as willing to take threes. There's an opportunity for a three-point play and a shot at the tie. Alabama was willing to take threes. But the last, the last couple teams, Northwestern and East Tennessee State, only took eight total. And there it is. 47-47. A 16-point deficit is all erased. Remember what I said earlier. Boy, this is going to be fun to look at when I, if I put this in the five best games. Which, I mean, like, to be fair, like, I'm a sucker for, like, a big comeback. If you watch those, you probably see that there's some there's a type of pattern or a type of game that I like. Ohio, Ohio is now in the lead. At one point down 16, they have crushed through the second half to erase that deficit. And with another turnover. Unbelievable. There's a three. Not a bad three at all. There was only really... One person that was going to get that rebound, and it was an Ohio Bobcat. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to put it back. Ohio... S <laughs> <coughs> I can't believe that. 
I can't. Oh my gosh. That sequence of events was nuts. Okay, Ohio. Just kind of have to hold on for another 63 seconds. A three from Boston College is good. 50 to 49 with a minute even. One minute to go. Ohio almost lost the ball. Ohio almost lost the ball. They got to get it up the court. Now, obviously, they don't have to foul. They can run 35 seconds off this clock. And even with that, they're still only down three, so not the biggest deal in the world. But it, that big comeback might be all for nothing because they just couldn't get it up the court. Come on. Come on. Just get it. There you go. Get it across half court. And that took a very long time. It got turned over anyway. No, the 16 point comeback. I mean, they at least let it get to a pretty interesting finish. Just Boston College's stupid full court defense. That, I mean, that 10-second that violation was a really, really big one. All right. They'll go to the line for a one-and-one -one situation. You needed one rebound. One rebound, Ohio. Ohio, do it for the audience. Take out this stupid full court defense team. There's a three in the corner. It's good. 10.7 remaining. 54 52. Ohio, I may have spoken too soon. Now, here's the trick. Ohio has to get the ball past half court. Do they go deep? They do go deep. Ooh. No. Don't take a three. They got into the buzzer with point nine to go. Oh, my God. We have another overtime game. This day has been insane. We're going to overtime again. Ohio erased a 16-point deficit. I'm going to be so tired at work tomorrow. Three for Ohio. Bang! They got it! 57-54. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they took the ball away at half court. Did you see that Boston College? Did you see how they took it away at half court and then didn't get a backcourt violation? Holy hell is right. And they blocked it. Oh my god. This this is incredible. This is incredible. They're up five. They're plus twenty-one. That is, wow. They, they, turn, they turn the ball over again? They still have it. Boston College hasn't even gotten up a shot. That's, e oh, that should have been a shot that was made. Boston College now down five with just over a minute gone here in the overtime period. They have plenty of time to bring it back. Another block and a turnover again. Ohio. <clears throat> oh, Ohio couldn't get it. Just a little short off that right iron. 
Okay, this is the three from Boston College is no good. Defensive rebound from or by Ohio gives them the ball. It's a very quick shot. If you're up five in overtime, why not take a little more time off that clock? You have a 35 second shot clock to work with. He's defensive foul. He has four personals, team nine. So the fouls do not reset between the second half and overtime. <clears throat> 59-56. Just an insane game. An insane day. Boston College for three. Got it. And then just like that, it's tied at 59. All right, Ohio. Working it up the floor. There's no reason for the Eagles to stop using their full court defense. Clay, clearly it's working. Three for Ohio. He doesn't have it. It's defensively rebounded by Boston College. Oh, seven points, seven points in a row for the Eagles. And it's 61-59. Skip pass inside. There you go, kick it outside. He didn't feel confident shooting the three. He'll take the two, though, 61 all. Halfway through. Nice steal by Boston, or excuse me, uh, Ohio. Don't step out of bounds, you goofy goober. You gooby goofer. This, I mean, this is the game we're sticking with from now on. This has been incredible. 61 all. Ohio working with a short shot clock. Defensive foul. They'll go to the line for two. Any fouls by Boston College will result in free throws. They are at 7. Ohio is at 9, which means that their next one will be automatic 2 from the line instead of just 1-1. One one. But an incredible turn of events here in the second half and into the overtime period. 63-61. Another steal by Ohio. They're throwing it forward. No reason for Ohio to rush. They can take this clock way, way down. I guess if that's the result, not that big of a deal. <coughs> Again, apologies for the cough. Another steal by Ohio. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am at a loss for words. This is mind-boggling. Don't get a five-second violation. Okay, all right. You you ran a lot of time off the clock. A turnover, I guess, isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not obviously it's not great. You don't want it, but at the same time, you were under ten seconds on the shot clock. You were under a minute to go here in the game. Flipped it up, no good. We'll see what the Eagles want to do here. They're down four. They probably are going to need to start fouling to try and extend this game. Why? 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 Why are you? Why? Why? You can't do that. A five second violation at this stage of the game and immediately giving up a three. Ooh, oh, 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 interesting. Ohio, Ohio is incredibly lucky to get that offensive rebound. I'm really confused that... <laughs> what? Two of them in a row? And now they're in the bonus, so they get automatic two shots. Ohio missed four free throws and got three rebounds. <coughs> Ohio, Boston College needed one rebound. That's it. Oh my 
goodness. Seven. They gotta kick it out for three. You can't even you can't take a two here. You can't leave that guy open for three. Ohio wins. I am stunned. Oh my god. What? What a game. What a day of games. And we're not even done yet. Holy shit. That was incredible. 16 point deficit. Forced overtime. And then controlled the overtime. They came out and got a lot of steals. Oh my god. Boston College 64. Ohio 67. Even though they had the most thrilling victory of any of the games in the entire tournament for March Mascot Madness 2, unfortunately, Ohio did not make it that much farther. They ended up losing to Georgetown in the round of 32, which means that... Uh, winners four and three lost to Louisville, who won game number five. And then the winners of games number two and number one both lost to Georgetown, which, what? Ohio will hope to get off to a good start against Marquette. That is the first game of day number two. And Boston College will look to get out of the first round, though their matchup is very difficult. It is the fifth game of day number one, and they are facing a former champion in Duke. So where do you think these teams will finish in this September's tournament? Remember to go on over to challenge.com again right there and fill out a bracket. And then tune in to twitch.tv slash Rex starting August 29th at 4 p.m. Pacific time to catch every one of these 64 games live. So that does it. Those are your five best games of March Mascot Madness 2 for September Mascot Madness 2. We'll see you in six months to recount September Mascot Madness 2's best games for March Mascot Madness 3's best games. See you in February.